Here we go. You can see Wendy Richter in the ring there doing the RPMs a favor because Sasha's been interfering all night long. And here you go. You got Tommy Lane beating up Eric Emery, whose head's heavily taped, as you can tell. He's got bandage all over his head, but that ain't going to help. Wendy Richter, a good friend on the Rock and Roll RPMs, is right there with them because in this final match for the World Tag Team Championship, there is no disqualification, and we all know that Sasha has helped Eric Embry and crush it before. So Wendy's there to protect the Rock and Roll RPMs from interference from Sasha. And this is it. Let's, let's tell the people, ladies and gentlemen, also, this is a no disqualification match. Anything goes. There must be a winner. No time limit. And we're going to see some new World Wrestling Council champions, tag team champions, world champions crowned this evening, right? And it has been an exciting tournament. Great matches. So Tommy Lane, he's excited. He's got Eric Emery rocking and reeling and rolling. There's already blood all over his head. Oh, they're busting him wide open again. As you can tell, they're Mike Davis kicking him in the head, see? And now that extra help in a corner, Wendy. Look at her. Now, Rock and Roll RPMs, they know that this match is so important for them as it is for Eric Embry and the Crusher. And they have to be careful with the Crusher and Eric Embry. Well, this match is for the money. There they go, that Tommy. Oh, and he moved. It doesn't count what you did before in the tournament. It's what you do right now. That's right. This is going to be the telltale signs. You're going to see a champion, you're going to see it also ran. And blood all over the face of Eric Embry. I'll tell you something. You know, you take a look at this. You take a, you take a look, and you got two men beating up on one right here. Wendy. The man's bleeding. Wendy Richter's involved in it. Yes, and so To me, Sasha. this is not a fair match, to tell you the truth. Well, Sasha's match. in the other corner, and uh, fans are knows about the feud between... Sasha and Wendy at the time of this match. Oh, they had they had a few going all over Puerto Rico that went on a, for months. Including a cage match. Yeah, the first I think it was the first women's cage match ever in the history of Puerto Rican wrestling, wasn't it? And Sasha was upset about not winning the match. So there's a lot of things to be proven here. Oh yeah, there's Mike Davis and just sitting there beating. Okay, here poor comes Eric Crusher. Emery, his head's busted over here's that crush. Oh, big boot. Big right hand by Mike Davis. Now see it's wrestling, gentlemen. And when you get the tag team belts, whichever no team gets them, it's going to say World Wrestling Council Wrestling Tag Team, not boxing or street fighting I don't or think punching and kicking. I don't think you should wrestle against Eric Henry and the Crusher because they don't do it. They are there to hurt you, and if you are lucky enough, like the Rock and Roll PMs are, to find themselves with Eric Henry being hurt, then they have to take advantage. If somebody advantage. tells you to jump off a bridge, Hugo Savinovich, and he does it before you, are you gonna do it? No, I'm not. Okay, then what you- But if you have a chance in this match to win the titles, you will do what you have to do to get the win. Oh, that's right. You gotta, hey, those titles mean money. Money makes vi people do a lot of vicious things, right, Hugo Savinovich? That will get money you- Money makes the world go around. World, world recognition, prestige, payments on your big house, on your car, and also the pride of being the best at what you do. And ego sometimes plays a big part of what a human being does. That's right. You know something? Talking about ego, oh, reverse. Bobby, how does it feel to be on top of the world when you are the winner in a match? Oh, let me tell you, it's nice, especially when you go in there and pick up that money, brother. That's that's when the nice part of it about it is. But it's also nice to have that recognition when you walk down the street and they sit there and they look at you when you walk by a barrio and they go, ooh, Hangman Bobby Jaggers, world tag team champion. Hangman Bobby Jaggers, Caribbean tag team champion. Ooh, Bobby Jaggers, Puerto Rican heavyweight champion. It's awful nice to recognize. Okay, you haven't become the Puerto Rican champion. First, uh, I have in my own mind. Okay, in your mind, there's a lot of things that are happening. I'm worried sometimes of what goes through your mind. But let's go back into this final match for the tournament. This is for all the marvels, the World Tag Team Championship. On the line, the winner of this match will be the new World Wrestling Council Tag Team Champions. Let me make one, let me make one thing perfectly clear here, too, ladies and gentlemen. You've been sitting watching this video from the get-go through rounds one, two, and now three of the finals. And you're tired. I, can you imagine how these gentlemen in the ring feel right now? They are physically exhausted. What they're going on now is pure wrestling instinct. And they know that there's a big pot of, at the end of that rainbow, and they're trying to find the end of the rainbow. The muscles get stiffed up. Your neck feels sore. And 
your legs feel so much heavy, but then if you're the winner in one of the rounds, you have to advance. And the finalists here, talking about people being in bad, bad shape. Take what about Eric Embry? Yeah, he's in bad shape, Eric Embry. Blood everywhere, and the crusher, I don't know if you have noticed, but he's a little bit intimidated because he knows that if uh, Eric Embry passes out because of so much blood he's losing, it's then he's in trouble. Two on one. Two on one. And the Rock and Roll RPMs hate the crusher and Eric Embry. Oh, it's obvious there. But you take a look, Eric Emery, you know, he's, he's not bleeding as bad as he was in the earlier round, but he's still bleeding. I imagine he's still sore. I wonder, I wonder if he's got full sight of that. You got to grab that egg, Eric Emery, if you're going to beat him now. Another thing, too, is after you've been punched so much, where you have been opened up, that closes up because it swallows up so much that the blood clocks up around that area. That's right. And plus, and plus Milosevic, he's lost that blood now. He's lost that extra energy, that extra strength. Here's Mike Davis. Oh, big knee lift. Close to dehydration, perhaps. And with those punches, they're not helping the cause of Aaron Brien. The way that, the way that Miguelito Perez run his head in that turnbuckle, he could definitely have a concussion, you know. So we're looking at some important things that happen in this tournament. Let's analyze it for a moment. Miguelito hit in the head of Eric Henry against the post. The two teams, Rumble Round Star, Chicky Star, and Invaders. No winners, a draw, both disqualified. Both of them out of the tournament. Some important things leading up to this rivalry here between two teams that have been at it for a long, long time. And right there, Eric Emery just made a cardinal mistake. His head's already injured. He went up on the second rope to come down with the head, but the man moves. What happens? Eric Emery's hurt again. But he had set mind enough to tag his partner, Crusher. Now, Crusher's got to come in there, take control of this match, and help his partner get revived. Sanji should be up there talking to Emery and getting him revived right now. Well, she's scared because she knows Wendy Richter's on the other side, and she's already felt the power of Wendy. If Sasha's going to do anything, she's going to try to make sure that Wendy does not catch her doing that. Well, I'll tell you something. Eric Emery needs that breather right now. There's a leg over the rope. But the man was pinned. If Crusher would have grabbed that leg, brought it up to him, that's a pinning coming. Oh, and he moved on the elbow. And Wendy trying to root on Davis to tag Tommy Lane. And the fans are really into this match because they sense that the Rock and Roll RPMs have about 80% chance of becoming the champions. 80% because of how bad Eric Embry is bleeding right now. But you see right there, Eric Embry is still not backing up. He's coming right forward. What about Davis? He's not going back. Oh! Yeah, he is now. No kick. Right in the yeah, corner area. Now. Mike Davis just had the win take out his sails, ladies and gentlemen. That was a good kick to the solar plexus. And being that we're not on cable, and on regular TV, that is very low, right around the testicle area, Bobby Jagger. Well, I want to tell you something right now. I don't know. I think it was right about the solar plexus, right about the belly button myself. But I'll tell you something right there, Mr. Vinovich. Mike Davis has had the win, take down the sail. I don't care where he was kicked. All I know is he's not much use to nobody right now. <laughs> Okay, Davis able to kick out at the last. Did that bring your odds Second. down a little bit, Hugo, from 80 to about 50 now? Well, they, they have. They have because uh, in wrestling, and like many other sports, it's not over till it's over. That's I think right. Yogi Berra said that. Yogi Berra right? said that, right. And by the way, Yogi, if you're uh, viewing this uh, video you know, he tape, wrestling, and you're, right? yeah, he's a heck of a wrestling fan. If you're viewing this wrestling tape, Yogi, please put us on your show and give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, home run. Triple or whatever, okay, but... Juggy Bear used to be a great fan of Gorgeous George. Well, one of the announced, one of the original announcers of wrestling from the chase was Joe Gargiola. His brother Mickey for many years was a ring announcer for Sam Muchnick in St. Louis. All the rest, all the baseball players from around St. Louis. Okay, look out. Here comes the crusher, more aggressive. He's trying to stop Davis. But Davis is trying to fight back the mean crusher from Australia all over Davis. Wendy Richter trying to root on for her friends, the Rock and Roll RPMs. And the other side, outside, is beautiful Sasha. And she thinks she's got the winning hand right now. Well, let me tell you one thing. Wendy Richter can do all the rooting she wants. She can root on anybody she wants, but it's not going to help because she ain't taking the punishment, baby. Okay, the man is taking the punishment is Mike Davis. Look out. Here comes Eric Embry. His head bloodied, but his spirit still looking good. He's got that. 
A lot of credit to Eric Embry. I'm Mike Davis. To, oh, he, Eric, you've got to, but he had to lock him in. Bobby, hook the leg, give credit, remember give that credit Eric to Embry Mike is Davis. Weak too. Mike Davis is weak in everything also, but he kicked out. Eric Embry has got to be the weaker of the two. He's been busted open. He's lost a lot of blood, but the man is still trying. There goes Eric Embry for a fly. Oh, no. He missed. Both men are down. And this could be the, the determined point where the Rock and RPMs just have to get a little bit stronger and go for the kill. Go for the win right here. You got to go for the win. Now. Now it's the time. Mike Davis is going the wrong way. He's going towards the wrong corner. Eric Emery knows where he's going. He made the tag. All right. Yeah, they got the man down. There's what we talk about tag team wrestling, keeping the fresh man in, the man in there that can do the most good for your team. And the crazy crusher, he wants to hurt one of these men. Oh, hey, how would you feel if your tag team partner's over there laying with his head busted wide open due to one somebody trying to hurt him? You try to hurt somebody too, wouldn't you? I have to agree with you there. All right, here goes the crusher throwing him in the ropes. And here comes for a big slam. Yeah, he got the man up. Oh, good body slam. He looks for the distance, comes off the rope. Leg right across the throat. Goes One, for the pinfall. Two. Two. He hasn't got the leg. You see that? Almost three. The leg. I'll tell you the truth, that was pretty, pretty close for a pinfall. I think if there had been anybody else refereeing besides Ricky Vargas, it would have been a pinfall. I think the Sasha or somebody ought to bring that to his attention, too. I think she just did that. Right there, you can see Crusher's got taking okay. that oxygen away from Mike Davis. Mike Davis needs desperately to make a tag of Tommy Lane. Okay, Lainer. wrestling fans, you are home right now. Who do you think is going to win? I'm not going to ask Bobby Jaggers. I'm not going to tell you, fans. Pick a winner right here. Examine the possibilities of the two teams. Eric Embry, a bloody mess, but the crusher looks mighty strong. The Rock and Roll RPM started strong, but now they look a little bit weak, and it's getting to the time where our winner will probably result in the next few minutes. Well, I'll tell you something right now. If I was sitting home watching this video, I'd be saying, Mama, bring me a beer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we saw some great tag team matches. Here's Mike Davis just punching. Those punches aren't packing that much, aren't packing that much power because I, I think, think that Mike Davis, Davis is so weak. Gone for a tag. Oh, Davis should have gone for a tag. He shouldn't have thrown that man in the ropes. He should have gone for the tag to his partner. Oh, yeah. Big Off mistake the top there. Rope. Big mistake by Mike Davis. He thought he could take care of the crusher. He should have gone for the tag. One, two. Oh, there, oh. No, but I tell one you, thing that beats you in Hugo Savinovich in professional wrestling is Eddie mistakes, Kimberly. and Mike Davis just made a critical Not one. Not only that, but Tommy Lane was in a, in a good position to come off the top if he would have gotten attacked there and probably go for a sunset flip or a flying body tackle or something. That's right. When you go down the wire, you will do any move that could get you win. Oh, oh, right into Wendy Richter. You see that? Yes. Good wrestling right there. Good wrestling. Almost an injury there. But Eric Emery, Eric Emery out on the floor. The referee should be and making Sasha. Tommy Lane and Wendy Richter get away from that man. She should not even be around that man. Okay, Wendy trying to help here. As she was trying to help, she'll be back in the dressing room. Okay, look out. Here comes Emery. What? Oh, wow, what a shot that was. Home run caliber. That's it, baby. That should be it. Get him back in the ring and pin him and okay, beat him. Okay, Wendy trying to get Davis back to his feet. Little massage there. And it doesn't hurt when a beautiful woman is right there. Well, I don't know how much she's going to help with being a beautiful woman. Because here goes Eric Emery again. I'm talking about the feminine touch, the hands. Feminine touch the never helped me a lick, brother. When I was hurt, the only thing I wanted to do was hurt back. Okay. Oh, front face lock suplex over the top rope. That should be it, ladies and gentlemen. A masterpiece One, of a suplex. Two. Oh, and he kicked out again. But Eric Emery did not grab that leg. He brought in the rocker with so much impulse on that suplex that I'm, I was pretty sure that the three count was going to be obtained there by right. Embry. Crusher brings a big boot up. Mike Davis meets it very, very intimately. Okay, a lot of trouble here for the rock and roll RPA. Oh, 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 right in the back of the head. Another kick. I'll tell you something, Hugo. This is getting down to the wire, baby. They've gone practically 20 minutes right now. And it's uh, exciting been action. Exciting match. Tremendous action. A powerhouse.
entering this crusher. Oh, oh, oh yeah. He's looking stronger and stronger. I'll tell Who you. Who will be the winners of this tournament? There you go, crush it, crush it. Oh, there, there you go. Tommy Lane just can't take it no more. He wants to get in there and beat somebody up. And the only thing he's doing is they put him in a figure four, baby. Oh, double team here. Double team. Figure four. Crusher helping here. No disqualification, Ricky Vargas. There's your figure four right there. This could be it. Mike Davis could give up on the figure four. He's not a quitter. He is not a quitter. As you can see, Mike Davis is thinking about his shoulders are on the mat. The referee should be counting the man. But he's not a quitter. He's in trouble. His legs he's could be very broken much, here. Oh, he's trying to reverse it. Oh, he reversed oh, the pressure. But the tag's made right there by Eric Emery to the crusher. Oh, yeah, big boot. That'll break the figure What four. a lucky son of a gun, Eric Emery. Oh, no, that's just, that's that's good, smart wrestling. He was lucky. Right His partner was right there. Was a good partner's always there when you need him. Okay. Oh, missed a clothesline, double knockout. Okay, here, the heavier of the impact, I think, was caused by Davis, but now the question is, can he recover to tag his partner? He's got to make that tag. He's got to make that tag to have any hope of the RPMs of Cliff in the world. Okay, and the winners, of this, the winners of this match will be the new world tag team champion. Oh, no, Eric, giving trip coming in the ring. And they will also receive the beautiful bouquet of roses by... Miss Wrestling, oh. Puerto Rico. Oh, boy, look at this. Okay, Davis. Oh. Out, but Tommy Lane comes in, and he is rocking. Whoa. Oh, he run their heads together. Eric Emery started to bleed again. They're hearing church bells right now. But here oh. comes Davis. Look at the courage, the stamina to recover. Oh, he run Eric Emery's head right in that turnbuckle. Okay, the two teams are in the ring right now. It could go either way. One mistake, and it'll be all over. There's no disqualification here. Tommy Lane attacando a Eric Embry. Right there, you see Tommy Lane going up on that turnbuckle, throwing right hands into that cut of Eric Emery. Now, you can't tell me, Hugo Savinovich, that that should be a legal move. After what I have seen Embry do. Oh, look oh, out. Back he threw the crusher right over the top rope. Over the top rope. But on the other corner, we see Sasha trying to make Crusher come back in the ring. Meanwhile, Tommy Lane, it's all over Eric Embry. Embry, he has recovered. Look out. Oh, oh pile driver. Mr. Pile Driver, Eric Embry has done it. He's going for the win. Okay, but here it is. The boot of the rocker is on the rope. Oh, what is Here it? comes the Crusher. The referee should be counting this man. Okay, Embry's upset. Embry's upset. Wendy and the rocker, they threw Tommy Lane out. And now Mike Davis is taking his place. The whole Coliseum is rocking. Eric Embry has not noticed. Davis is covering his pace. He's going for the pinfall. But he does not know that Tommy Lane is out. And of course he kicks out. He's fooling Davis. Inside Plato. I mean, he's, he's got him. Three seconds. We have the new World Tag Team Champions. Did you like that move? That was a fantastic move right there, but it was underboard. The winner Look at the Roberto the Clemente Crusher Coliseum. Eric Emery. What a sensational win. Wow. Now, that was something. But I'll tell you something, Hugo Savinovich. You always talk about it. You always say it. These people do not play above board. These people do cheat. They well, did. what do you call that right they, there? They that was cheat. an out and out cheat but as you can see ladies and gentlemen this night the new world wrestling council okay. tag team champions are mike davis and okay. tommy lane it the rock party. and roll rpm it is party time it is time to rock because the world tag team championship belts will be awarded now to the rock and roll rpms and also a bouquet of roses given out by miss wrestling of puerto rico oh fantastic well, I'll tell you something, you know something, Lucas Vinovich, you can say anything you want, but still, the greatest tag team in professional wrestling is the Kansas Jayhawks, Danny Dan Crawford and Hangman Bobby Jaggers. Okay, we're waiting for the celebration. And the Rockers did it. They're going to be presented. Here is Miss Wrestling Puerto Rico. The roses and the belts. La segunda finalista. Well, I'll tell you, right there they are. Oh, Sasha hits Wendy with the boot. Wendy is knocked out with a pile of boot. 
And now, oh, look, this is a bad loser oh, star. Oh, brother, they're just oh, getting even. No class. They're getting oh, even. That's no what class. they're doing. They're getting they even. They power drive one of the rockers. My goodness. No class. Oh, crush her and embryo. Oh, I'll tell at, you something. Look at the way he's grabbing. Oh, yeah, he grabbed her. Wendy by the hair. Oh, look at they picking her up. Can you believe this? A power driver. <laughs> well, if you want to stick your nose in somebody's business, it. you might get it burned off in front of your face. And that's exactly what the Rockers ought to start thinking about now. Wendy's out cold, power drive hard with the help of Crusher Egg Embry. And the Rockers are, they're out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there are your World Wrestling Council Tag Team Champions. Oh, the roses and here's now. the Look roses, and Eric Emery is going to present them with the roses. <laughs> I bet you like that, Jaggers. I think that's got a lot of class to it. Well, there they are, your world champions and their valet, Miss Wendy Richter.